Hey scholars, so this is a uh, problem we'll look at. This is a probability question. During an experiment, the two spinners below will be spun. Represent the sample space for this experiment. How many of these outcomes consist of a green and an A? So sample space is like every possible outcome, right? Um, so basically there's like four things that the spinner could land on here, and these are like four colors. And here there's six, you know, possible wedges or triangles that the spinner could land on you know even though there's like three different uh three of these wedges have you know the same letter a and two have b there's still like six you know different outcomes that could happen and some of them just happen to have the same letter all right so basically what we could do is just sort of list you know all the things that could happen you know it could land on yellow and then also it could be any of these six wedges it could be green any of the six wedges and so on so you could just sort of start and just, you know, list your sample space here. So you could just say, all right, first one could be green, right? And, you know, maybe we'll start like here. So it could be green A if it landed there. You know, green B over here could be another green A. Could be another green B. Could be another green A. And last one could be a green C. And then it's going to be the same, you know, basic pattern. So you get a yellow A, yellow B, yellow A, yellow B, yellow A, yellow C. Could be green A, green B, green A, green B, green A or green C and then over here could be red A, red B, red A, red B, red A, or red C. So how many of these have a green and an A? Well let's just circle them. Okay, one, two, three, can't be this one, yellow, one, two, three, and can't be this one because it's red. So just count them up. And so there's six. So here's the sample space. Actually, you probably shouldn't, you know, X this out. You should leave it for the, you know, leave it intact for the sample space. But here's your sample space, right? And the number of possible outcomes is six.